यू आर लिसनिंग मनोपात्रा पॉडकास्ट स्टेट टू गेट लेटेस्ट लीगल अपडेट्स ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम मनोपात्रा Here are the news highlights dated 23rd June 2023 of the Supreme Court and various high courts. Starting with the Supreme Court, Supreme Court has held that largely disappropriate allotment of rights of share in favor of one group of shareholders can't be set aside merely because it substantially increases its shareholding percentage in the company over other group of shareholders and promoters have benefited from it. News highlights from various high courts. Bombay High Court, while hearing a petition that alleged severe water shortage with inmates receiving just one to one point five buckets of unclean water a day for drinking, has directed local planning authority and prison officials to ensure separate clean drinking water for Teloja Central Prison inmates. Kerala High Court has observed that in the matter of recruitment to services. it is for the employees to decide based on assessment and requirements whether one qualification is equivalent to another or whether one qualification would subsign another lesser qualification kerala high court has held that prohibition against inclusion of the time taken for acquiring a phd degree applies to candidates whereas period spent on pursuing a research degree simultaneously with teaching assignment would count towards teaching experience madras high court while criticizing madras bar association for its strict bylaws making it difficult for lawyers to become a member of madras bar association resulting in class discrimination has directed association to give bar membership without discrimination and not to create an elite community within the lawyers group within the premises of the public institution meghalaya high court has observed that looking into the physical and mental development of in- children of age around 16 years it is logical that such a person is capable of making conscious decisions as regard his or her well-being as to the actual act of sexual intercourse Meghalaya High Court has held that notwithstanding any agreement between parties the party in breach of contract is liable to compensate the other party only to the extent of the loss suffered by such other party unless there is a genuine pre-estimate indicated by way of liquidated damages